Hey guys, welcome to my high dollar what sold video and I am saving the best for last so stay tuned. So apologies in advance for the glare in my glasses but I do need to or want to use my computer to go through the sales here with you. So um, the first is this pair of Dan Post cowboy boots. Now Dan Post cowboy boots are a really great brand of men's and women's cowboy boots. They're not one of the super high ends, so they're not like Tony Lama or um, Lucchese or some of the bigger, really high end brands, but they're really a nice brand. And so I picked these up for $20 at my local uh, Salvation Army here in New Jersey. And I did pay uh, up for these at, for $20, which is high, but I knew they would go decently and I did just sell these yesterday for um what was the total there okay $93.59 and the buyer is all in for $115.06 these are a size men's 16 so quite large so they really didn't take all that long to sell sometimes the uh, sizes on the outer edges of the um, average size actually can go pretty well because they're harder for people who wear those sizes to find. So cowboy boots, men's cowboy boots, Dan Post. Next is, um, let's see, so I'm just sliding through my, my uh, what sold. Um, next, over $75 is a coat. Coats are always something that people will pay up for. This is a vintage 1960s, 1970s coat. It just sold um, also a couple days ago for $76.44 and the buyer is all in for $91.04. I don't even know what this is made of. There were no tags. So this is a case where I have a vintage item and it's really important to describe it to the best that you can. So um, I have listed, it's maybe lambswool, it's maybe cashmere, it's ultra, ultra soft. And um, so I talked a lot about it in a sort of a narrative description so that the buyer is aware that I don't have the tags, I don't have um, the size even, and they're going on um, measurements. But it's always possible, it did take a while to sell probably because of those, um, the lack of um, um, tags, but it did sell for a high profit. And I think I paid $4.99 for that at my Salvation Army. Okay, next, going through my list here, I see some 20s, some 40s. Um, I wanna get down to find my really high-end items. I'm gonna go through not just eBay, but I also sell on Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, a little bit of Depop, and I just had my first ever sale on Etsy last week, though it wasn't a um, $70 plus item, but that's okay. I'm getting started over there. Next, uh, this sold on February 24th, so just about a week or so ago. I'm about to ship it today. It's something that's obviously gonna take quite a bit more shipping than a piece of clothing or shoes. This is a mid-century modern um, stretch glass in orange. This is called swung glass because when it was being made, they would swing the glass from um, to stretch it. So stretch glass, um, persimmon, orange, and the maker is probably L.E. Smith. So swung glass, L.E. Smith. And I sold that for $178.62. Buyer is all in for $219.45. I bought that for $4.99. It was in the cart being put away on the shelf while it was standing there by the cart and I picked it up. So it literally never even made it to the shelf in the store. That took about five or six months to sell. I did have it a little bit higher. That 178 mark is a sale price, but that's about what they're going for. So I tried to price it a little bit high to see what I would get for it. Eventually when it came back down to a more average sale price for these swung glass, vases, it did sell um, pretty quickly at that price. Next is a, um, let's see here. I gotta go down, 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 down. I've got a couple $60 sales. Um, those are high dollar. I think I'm gonna throw them in there. So um, this is a Welsh woolen coat by Rossetto, which is the name of the brand. I bought this for $6.99. I sold it for $60. Buyer is all in for $78.18. I know some sellers do count in shipping when they're talking about the price because it does help you uh, figure out what a person is willing to pay for a particular item. So this is over $70 when you pay, when you cost in or factor in the shipping. It was a $78 sale. 
but the price was actually 60 and I paid $6.99, so I've got about a 50 some dollar profit on this Welsh woolen coat. Next, same case, this is a $62.39 sale, sold for $78.97, so it's up over the $70 mark, including shipping. But the sale price was $62.39, and it's the Sacred Heart of Mary uh, religious print. It was dated on the back, so I knew it was probably around the 50s, but this had an actual date handwritten on the back, 1954, I believe it was. Religious items, I almost always pick up, especially vintage religious items. Um, <clears throat> they sell really well, quite beautiful pieces of art, and also purchased for their religious significance. Um, I paid two or three ninety nine for that at my Salvation Army, which is where most of my items do come from. Um, I do go to the occasional states estate sale. I do go to some Goodwills, though the Goodwills in my area are generally uh, much more expensive than my Salvation Armies. Okay, let's scroll. Okay, $70 item. Here's an item that I held on to for a very long time just because I personally loved it. It's this beautiful vintage uh, wool open fringe sweater vest. I had this price quite a bit higher. Again, this is just something that I personally absolutely loved. And so I priced it probably a little bit too high, you know, um, that can happen, but I eventually sold it for $70 and the buyer's all in for $74.20. Very lightweight and it's just going first class. I paid $2.99 for that beautiful, beautiful vintage sweater. Okay, next is a, another um, print. This one is called Garden Gossip and it's signed by Wallace Nutting. Uh, Wallace Nutting did photographs and hand-colored photographs in the, I believe, the 30s, 40s era. Wallace Nutting was very much copied, so um, unless you have a signature, it's probably a faux Wallace Nutting, but those do sell as well. This one was uh, signed, and the title of the piece is called Garden Gossip. I purchased that for $3.99 at My Salvation Army. My Salvation Army prices prints quite low because they want to move them. Um, they don't have a lot of wall space there, and I see that the prices are really quite low on prints, regardless of their, if they're antique, if they're large, if they're real paintings, etc. So I do really well with prints um, and artwork there, simply because the buy-in cost, where you make a lot of your money on the buy-in cost, is uh, so low. And this sold for $109.99, and the buyer's all in for $128.49. So again, Wallace Nutting is something, uh, a person to Google. Um, his hand-colored photographs were quite popular at the time, and then they were also mass-marketed, so there are copies, but uh, you know, uh, fake Wallace, Wallace Nutting, but in the Wallace Nutting style, and those do sell as well. Okay, next, in the Let's Count the Shipping 2 category, this beautiful vintage Jones New York sweater in red and cream. I had two of these. They both sold pretty high. Uh, the buyer paid $58.99. I purchased that for about 4 or $5 at the Salvation Army, and the all-in price was $72.84. Vintage sweaters, vintage ski sweaters, always a great find. Um, okay, next is this Barbie, and this Barbie doll was purchased in a vintage case. I bought two vintage Barbie cases at a thrift store. It's a community thrift store, very just a small, um, not a national chain thrift store. I paid $10 for each one of the boxes, and they were filled with Barbies. This was, I think, the most valuable of the Barbies. There was one other older one. Um, and she went for $125. So I spent quite a bit of time trying to figure out how to price her. Barbies, you need to be extremely careful with pricing. Um, I found a number of great resources, places to um, figure out the price. And then I went to uh, the Bolo Buddies Facebook uh, page run by Courtney over on Bolo Buddies and reached out to people over there to see if anybody had any ideas because sometimes when you've done your all of your research and um, you're still kind of in between prices or not sure, it's great to reach out to different communities. There are collectors communities on Facebook, Facebook groups. In particular, uh, Barbies are a really good one as well as Pyrex is another good one. 
If you have a, a special piece of Pyrex and you need to know what it is or a special Barbie, those are really great places to go over there and post a photo, ask for help. As long as you've shown that you know, you've done your due diligence and you've tried to find some research on it and it's a piece that's just um, difficult to price, people will generally help you out. And so this sold for $125. So the price, um, I paid $10 for the whole set, so I'm not sure exactly how much that particular Barbie was, but really nice. $100 plus sale. And let's see, I don't know how far I'm going to go back here, but um, I've got some, I've got some really nice bigger sales this uh, past few months. And I've been teaching and uh, backing down my um, online reseller sales because I am teaching. I teach anthropology in upstate New York at the university level. And so I am not quite listing as much so I'm able to keep the sales a little bit slower because I don't have the time to go out and ship as much so um, it's really nice to have these big high dollar sales rather than a lot of little sales when I'm uh, part-time like that so next sale for $98.99 I bought these shoes for $4.99 or $5.99 these were absolutely brand new at my Salvation Army. They're by Kenneth Cole, and they're called Gentle Souls. And apparently the Gentle Souls line, it's really, um, really orthopedic, very, very comfortable uh, looking shoe. And um, they were well sought after. Now these had a lot going for them. These are cheetah, so they have the classic, which has become a classic cheetah print. They are uh, calf hair, so genuine, uh, leather, calf hair, and they're brand new. So these sold for $98.99 and the buyer was all in for $113.36. So great sale. Love that sale. And let's see what have I got going back through eBay. Another religious item. So there are a couple themes going on here. I sold this antique uh, Turner print, Sacred Heart of Mary, again. Um, print for $95 and the buyers all in for $105.90. Now I do have a video up on uh, price with me and how to price items and this is one of the items that I chose in that video so if you want to go back and see that that is a series that I do hope to um, re get going again uh, once my class is over so probably in the next couple of months um, I'm gonna start doing this series on how do I price items? It's really a question that is difficult, not just for new sellers, but for uh, experienced sellers like myself, you always will come across an item that you're just not sure exactly how to price it. So this I sold for $95. I paid two or $3 again, that print price at my Salvation Army. Buyers all in for $105.90. Next is a Carhartt uh, jacket, and I paid way up for this. I paid $40 for this just because I know Carhartt is going to be a good seller. And I bought this at a garage sale that was one of my neighbors was giving. I wasn't even out garage selling. I just drove by and they were having a sale. So I paid $40. It's, it's a practically brand new men's XL Carhartt. And that sold for $109.99. Buyer was all in for, I don't have the all in price here. That item got returned for fit, so it had nothing to do with the condition or anything like that. But I'm including that as a sale, um, but it's going to have to be sold again. So I'm never afraid of returns. Uh, if you have a good item, it will sell. If it sells once, it's going to sell again. So um, I currently have that back listed because it just didn't fit the person. Next, a... No, I think I included that already in a... Where am I going here? Uh, let's see, sorry for the delay, but um, I really wanna just kind of do this in real time and scroll through and show you some of the high dollar items that I've sold in the past several months. So, okay, here we go. Um, this is a Cole Haan coat, again, coats. So you're starting to see, I've got some, some boots, coats, religious items, you know, true antique vintage or re religious items. This was Cole Haan. Cole Haan is a high-end designer. I love to sell Cole Haan shoes, and I'd never picked up anything like this. It was a coat, 
I looked it up and found that originally it retailed for $300, so I was able to sell this for $79.99. The buyer was all in for $102.99, and that actually went to Japan. The low shipping is because I did use the global shipping program for that particular. Okay, my next high dollar what sold item is sold over on Poshmark, another platform that I do pretty well on. eBay is definitely my number one platform but I sold this vintage pair of men's Western cowboy boots by a brand called Amons, A-M-M-O-N-S. This was a brand that I didn't know, but comped in the store. I paid $20 for these. The issue with these boots was they took a long, long time to sell, over a year and a half to sell because they were custom made. So the person buying them really needs to know their cowboy boots and needs to be comfortable with uh, my measurements as a size because there was no you know, standard size but it was definitely worth the wait. These sold for $175 over on Poshmark. So for a $20 buy-in, I'm a long tail seller. I'm very much willing to wait a year and a half to sell these boots for $175 over on Poshmark. Okay, next are two high dollar sales I sold over on Facebook Marketplace. I don't do a lot of business on Facebook Marketplace, but I had two great sales this past um, month or two. So this is a 1960s or 1970s vintage curly lamb Persian uh, lamb coat or jacket. This was faux Persian lamb, so it wasn't even the real deal, but it was so unique and so pretty in this light gray color. And I sold this for $149 over on Facebook Marketplace. I paid about, um, I think I paid $6.99 or $7.99 for this coat. Now this did... And before I get to the best piece, I almost forgot I had a great sale on these spider ski pants. I paid $9.99 for these at the Salvation Army, and I sold them for $125.99. They were a women's size 12, and they were an orange, which, you know, some people love orange and some don't. So it's they still sold for a really great price. Spider is a fabulous okay, guys, brand. Okay, guys, here's the best for last. I purchased this little... Uh, glass and silver clown for two dollars and 99 cents in my local Salvation Army that I walked across the street to and um, boy did I go back day after day looking to see if I could find more because oftentimes these come in sets this was a Venetian Murano glass and sterling silver little itty bitty clown here's a picture of me holding it um, with a spoon and I believe uh, that the artist was Dargento and I did a lot of research on um, this particular item. I found a lot of comps and it was selling for around four to five hundred dollars for this particular one. I sold it for $398.99 plus the buyer paid shipping. This was over on Facebook Marketplace. This was my first real big sale over on Facebook Marketplace. So um, over a $400 sale over on Facebook Marketplace. It does pay to make sure that you are listed on a variety of different uh, sites, and I do use List Perfectly to cross list. So um, this Murano Glass Clown was a, literally my profit was about $385. So keep out there, guys. Good luck thrifting. You will find those big dollar, high dollar items. Happy thrifting, everybody.